We are tonight's entertainment. Hey guys, Randoms here. Welcome to another movie review. If you're new and you like movie reviews, it's not the main thing we do on the channel, but we do it every year and there. And it's quite a lot of movies coming out, so uh, consider subscribing. So here we are, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning, part one. Part one. So I think it's part two, and then uh, one more, and that's it. Or it's part two, and that's it. So I'm not sure. So this is the pre-phase. This is like the the phase before I see the movie and like my thoughts. So I didn't really see the trailer. I've seen a couple ads, you know, through YouTube and all that. I haven't really been watching any trailer for anything. So it kind of keeps the surprise, I guess. And um, I just know there's like a big stunt where it's like a big ass ramp, and he goes off on like a dirt bike and he jumps off. He always does his own stunts. It's awesome. I think, uh, and I remember in Fallout. Um, and we'll speak to, we'll speak about Fallout later. But um, he, uh, I forget. Well, anyway, um, I don't want to make this too long. But I think I'm going to come out with eight, at least an eight, maybe nine. Because Fallout was a nine. Fallout was freaking amazing. We didn't, I, I wish I would have got uh, my movie, rev movie reviews going. But I didn't get them going around that time when that film came out. But I'm going to come out with an eight or a nine. My friends have seen it. They said 8, 8.5, not better than Fallout. But a friend of mine did say, another friend, said um, because it's a part one, it's not like a whole movie like Fallout was because Fallout was a whole movie. It wasn't part one, part two. So would you consider like Fallout versus Dead uh, Dead Reckoning part one and two together to face off Fallout? Because I, I don't really count that. But we'll see. But with Tom Cruise, does his own stunts. Oh, yeah, I know I was going to say earlier, um, you know, you got that theater cut with the edit, like the, the black strip, black strip, then the main scene. Well, on his like stunts, I noticed in Fallout, there's like none of that. It's like the whole screen takes it over. And um, that's cool. I think they want to show everything. I'm not really sure what the, the cinematography reason is for that. But yeah, didn't see any trailer. Uh, nonetheless, it's going to be a good action film for sure. Movie of the year, probably not. Everyone, everyone's, you know... Best if there's an animated movie, it's freaking uh, Spider Man into the Spider Verse or Beyond the Spider Verse or whatever. I, I'm so confused on the first word of the title of those, but that's it. So, um, at least eight for sure. So, we'll see what happens. And, um, if I were to th guess anything that's gonna happen, of course, every every mission possible, Ethan, your mission if you if you choose to accept it, that's gonna be said. Uh, I forget his name, is it Wheatley? I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't know. It's not Q. That's from 007. The freaking uh, the guy there for comedic relief. He's probably gonna say some jokes all the time. Um, I forget the other guy's name, but he's there he, at the start of Fallout. He thought he was gonna die, but he didn't. Um, uh, maybe I shouldn't say anything. Well, it's at the start. But uh, if you've never seen the series, watch it. I'm about to see, and I'll be right back when I see Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One. Alright guys, I just got back from watching Mission Impossible Dead, Death Reckoning, Dead Reckoning, okay, part one, and I'll tell you when it ended, I thought, wait, is it, is it going to end here? I, I almost thought there was a bit more of the film, because this is almost a, almost three hour film, uh, no end credits, so, uh, again, you know, no one's really said, I said this in the past uh, movie reviews, no one said anything, uh, should we talk highlights or every scene? I'm just going to talk highlights, so, Mission Impossible does it again. They never fail. I, uh, you know, John Wick is also good with action. I'm, I'm just trying to think, like, who else is good with action? Um, it's like, is it the only franchise, fr series, franchise that you can expect from Mission Impossible and uh, John Wick? I can't really think of anything else. But, like, these guys do action. I guess we're talking, like, human action. You know, hand-to-hand, -hand, gun, real, like, kind of real-life action. Um, so where do I start? I'm just going to say highlights. Well, we'll just say the mission. The mission is all about a key. Remember Fallout was all about a bomb. This one kind of the same. Uh, wait, 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 the way it was housed, it looked like a bomb, but it wasn't. But it's basically mission. Uh, Ethan versus AI. That's kind of like almost real life. We're getting into a phase of real life where it's almost about kind of facing AI. That's a whole other video. But um, it, it, it is this AI that's trying to take over we don't really know too much i'm not sure but it's all about this key two parts of the key is pretty cool a little puzzle thing and then they open it and they show it. it's like a hard drive or something that's in it is it the ai itself or i don't really know they just say it's power it's it's big power so my highlights well i'm just gonna say how about two of the most over 
overplayed parts. The one in the yellow car, like that was, I don't know, that was hell overplayed. And then the, uh, like it was just long. And the train scene, when it's like four cargoes, like the fourth one, he's on top, I think. Then they get to the next cargo, and then that one falls. Then the third cargo, they're in the kitchen, and the flames, oh, watch out for the flames, the grease. Then they get the, out of that one. Then the, uh, the freaking uh, dining room, kind of, the, the, the lounge area, and the glass is falling. You gotta jump to me, you gotta jump to me. The, the piano falls, and she, of course, she comes like last second. She, she makes up her mind, like, come on, girl. And then the last one, you get the, the returning chick who had that blade stuck in her, thanks to, uh, I forgot his name. I already forgot his name, the villain. Well, the AI is the kind of the main villain, somewhat. Self learning, I don't know. And people are trying to control the AI, but uh, you have your human villain. Uh, Gabriel, I think his name was, and that guy's like a, that guy's like a gray alpha wolf, you know, the, the old dog kind of vibes I get off of him. He has, he has a cool voice too. He's got that podcast voice that I'd always listen to. Good, good actor. I've never even seen him before, but he's a pretty cool actor. Um, the film got me kind of hooked on him, and uh, he he stabbed that chick, and they're at that the, the fourth cargo. They're hanging on, and then the freaking uh, another hand comes, and it's her. I I, I don't think. She, did she even have a name? Or I don't know. Uh, kind of a henchman to Gabriel. Man, those two were the over, overplayed scenes. My favorite scenes. The best scene, in my opinion, is the airport scene. That shit was freaking... Oh, man. That was my favorite scene, hands down. Uh, just everything. I forgot to say in the preface, uh, you know, funny moments. Uh, the funny moments in this one were kind of cringe for me. The, the, over the top, kind of overplayed. Or they lasted a little too long, like in the in the yellow car scene. You could drive, right? Yeah, you, you could drive, drive. Like it's like, like it's played too long, in my opinion. But um, something about transportation areas were the highlights of this film. Transportation, such as the train scene, the train and the airport, are the best, my favorite scenes. But the uh, the airport is the best one by far. On just everyone chasing each other, the facial recognition fooling people. Um, pickpocketing like I don't know it, it, uh, I really loved it and I'm definitely gonna I'm, I'm going a little ahead here but I'm definitely gonna buy this film I already bought the other films never seen the second Mission Impossible because a friend told me it's the worst one uh, but in my opinion it gets better like you start Mission Impossible 1 and you keep going it gets way better but in this case I still say Fallout's better maybe because the part 1 part 2 maybe part 2 could be better we'll see that's usually the, the case. I mean, if you look at Infinity War and Endgame, that's kind of part one, part two. Um, although I liked Infinity War better, but in this case, I think part two, uh, Death Protocol is gonna be better. But uh, those are my highlights. The airport scene is the best one, but the uh, train scene was good too. Any other scenes? Um, those two are the only ones that really stood out to me. But we'll just move on here. I don't wanna kill too much time here. So. Everyone, of course, acting. Everyone's good. Uh, I don't know her name, but Peggy. I know she's from Captain America in the MCU. Uh, she's like his wife or something. I don't know. But uh, she, uh, she's uh, she's pretty good. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I mean, she's a beautiful woman. I'll say that. She's good. Uh, it's the first time I ever saw her on the big screen, as they say. In, in a movie, I've seen her. Good actor and then beautiful woman. I'll tell you that. Ethan still got it. He's good. Uh... As for stunts, that car, was that all real? I'm pretty sure that, that Fiat, that it sounded like an electric Fiat when they were in Rome, uh, maybe wrong about that. Um, I think I, I'm all over the place here, but I don't know if I finished the sentence way earlier ago, but I forgot in the pre-phase that um, the classic jokes, but then the classic mask moment. There's a couple mask moments, can't forget that. That's in every Mission Impossible, I think, pretty sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. But um I hope this this 18 wheeler doesn't back out in front of Okay. Dude, if it reversed, this whole video would have been scrap scrap. But anyway, um I'll tell you. Those are the two highlights. I want to know your highlights in the comments, guys, for anyone who watched this film. But let's move on forward to probably the score. Because I have nothing else to really talk about. But the acting is good and all that. So, my score for Mission Impossible Death Protocol Part 1, 8 out of 10. Solid 8. Um, when it comes to my rankings, uh, 8 is like a solid good film. 9 is like memorable, I'll always come back to it, good replayability, etc. I never gave it 10. It's just, yeah, I think I'm too picky, I'm too, I don't know, I'm too 
whatever you want to call it. Eight out of ten. Told you my highlights. Good acting, good actors, good stunts. Um, now my little mini part would be uh, what I bought on Blu-ray. Hell yeah, because I already have the whole entire franchise. Why not keep going? This one's good too. Um, would I buy another ticket again to go see it in theaters? No, not really. And I'm trying to think. And then the, this kind of ties in with the Blu-ray one. Would I watch it on a streaming service? Hell yeah. And I guess I'll throw another one, a new one. I don't know if I've done this before, but would I recommend it? Yes, get into the Mission Impossible series. Get into it, or franchise, whatever the hell. Um, but Fallout remains the king of the series, or the franchise. Fallout is king. So many be, and that, that got a 9 out of 10. I didn't get into re reviews back then, though. I wish I did. But that one was freaking... From even you know uh, a film's good when even the non-action scenes are good. Like I really like that, and uh, that one had some like twists and turns. This one had some twists and turns too. Like uh, just the one throw an example would be the one where all those intelligent people, the intelligent agency or whatever, they're in that room, and um, I knew it was Ethan with a mask. It was just that random guy, and it had you curious on the edge of your seat, like who's this guy? He's just in the background. Of the, he's in the back shot. Like who's this guy? But I knew it was Ethan with a mask. And um, he throws those balls, but gives that one guy the breathalyzer. Then they have that little discussion. Like, even even the non-action scenes, if those are good, golden, nine. Even in the action scenes themselves, that speaks for himself. That makes it a high score, too. So, Mission Impossible, 8 out of 10. For Death, Pro Death Protocol. Or Death Reckoning. Sorry, I keep freaking... There is a Death Protocol, I think, right? Or I'm not sure. Ghost Protocol or something. I'm getting Tom Clancy's ghost recon like that's kind of messing with me here but eight out of ten you guys got to get into the series if you never had um and uh how many more a couple years we got to wait for part two who knows um i think there's already filming or i'm not sure and then i gotta see is it part two and then this series franchise is over or is it part two and another film i'm not sure but we'll see but fallout remains king if you like these movie reviews uh there's more to come we got oppenheimer I'm getting IMAX seats for that one. That one's gonna, you gotta watch that in IMAX. So it's got, I'm gonna get a good theater on that one. That upload's gonna come late though, because I'm going to late showing. Uh, Barbie, I don't wanna watch it, but freaking, I got some, I got a friend who wants me to, if you remember Abel, he's in a couple of the movie reviews. He wants me to watch it, whatever, let's go see it. Uh, and I think that's it for the year. There may be more, but I don't wanna drag this out anymore. If you guys like these movie reviews, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the future videos to come. Peace out.